The spider complex is a great mobility drill that warms up all the major joints of the body and preps it for exercise. Start with several arm circles to get those shoulders moving, then perform a forward fold as far down as you can, keeping your legs as straight as you can so that you get the benefit of the hamstring stretch. Then you're going to go to a downward facing dog, pedal those legs out a little bit if you'd like, pushing your heels towards the floor and your chest towards your toes. From there, kick up three times while keeping both legs straight, then swing through and set your leg down into a runner's lunge position. From here, I like to move my foot out to the side and just kind of sit into the stretch, wiggle around and find any kind of tension that you feel needs to come out of your hips. I'll go into a deeper stretch by putting my elbows on the ground or pointing them towards the ground as deep as I can go. From there, I'll bring my back knee off the ground, lock the forward shoulder in, the right shoulder in this case, externally rotating, and then dropping the hips, reaching up to the sky, and then switching that. You can either put your hand on the outside or the inside of your leg. I'm going to do the inside here, and dropping your heel in the back and dropping your hips in the middle while reaching up to the sky. The second variation is much more difficult to do than the first. From there, we go back to a plank, back to a downward facing dog, and into what's called a scorpion pose. This is really great to get length and twist in the trunk. From that scorpion, what you're gonna do is swing your leg through and underneath into a pigeon pose. Pull that left hip back and your right hip forward and try to get as much depth as possible in your hips. After that, you're returning to your plank. Make sure you keep externally rotated shoulders while you hit your downward facing dog. Pedal your legs out again if you'd like, keeping those hips low. You're kicking three times on the right side. Hello, Robert. And stepping through to your runner's lunge. Now we're gonna do the same sequence that we did on the first side, on the left side, on the right side. So you can see here that we're wiggling our hips, finding any kind of tension that might need to be worked out. Also exploring a little bit deeper with the elbows pressing into the ground. Now I'm going to externally rotate my left shoulder so that my shoulder can hold the weight of my upper body and then reach up to the sky while dropping the hips, exploring that range a little bit more. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the right side, showing the option to put the arm behind the leg or in front. In front's gonna be a little bit more difficult than behind. I'm trying to get as much range between the shoulders as possible before coming back down to my plank and my downward facing dog. I'm gonna hit my scorpion on the right leg, getting as high as possible with that leg and then sweeping it through underneath the body into my pigeon pose. It's important that you keep straight arms in front of you so that you can push your torso and your hips back and get more length out of those hips. I like to finish this with a nice deep squat, pushing my knees out, stretching the adductors and the groin, finishing in prayer. And this is the spider complex.